This is John, a financial trader at an investment bank in Singapore. His work requires him to be in touch with what's happening around the world, and his iPad knows that. Every night while he's asleep, it downloads a personalized list of news videos that he can watch in the morning. The TV also has an app that automatically sends out his daily taxi booking request. With a single touch on his phone, he continues to stay in touch with the news on the way to work. Christine is a university student in the Philippines, and today is a big day for her. As a birthday gift, her father offered to buy her a new Android smartphone. Christine is excited about this new upgrade, but she still likes her old featured phone. She often uses it to pay for her daily shopping. Thanks to the mobile TV service she subscribes to, she also uses it to watch her favorite shows and music videos, even when she's on the move. Meanwhile, John has reached his office. The last news video on his playlist was about a new startup in Nigeria, and he remembers that his colleagues from the Africa Dest had been talking about it a few days ago. Just as he's getting off the taxi, John is alerted that the cafe near his office is running a 25% promotion, and all he has to do to get a cup of coffee is to touch a screen. No waiting in lines, no cash payments, no hassle. Back in the Philippines, Christine is about to get her new smartphone when her old phone buzzes for one last time. A new message has just been posted on her free-to-use SMS-based social network. She loves Tim Burton movies. Of course she'll join. As Christine walks into the electronics store, she knows exactly which phone she'll be getting. It'll have all her favorite apps, and she'll keep her photos, contacts, messages, pretty much her entire live stream, uninterrupted.